Okay, so today I'm gonna make um, a video on how to patch Apple HDA. And somebody keep asking me about this um, IDT 111D76E0. So on the internet, they already have these IDT 111D76E0 already patched. So all we need to do is to go to the website. You can download. So the IDT that we want is this one, 91BXX. Okay, just download it. Well, you have to sign in. Okay, so we will have Apple HDA Kex. Read me. So this is a layout three. So if you want to use layout three, you have to make sure to add in the uh, clover. So let's look at so with layout three, I have no sound. So what I'm going to do is I have to change the layout of the Apple HDA to layout 12. And in order to do this, I have to get the patch layout 12.xml and the uh, platform XML to put into the resource and also I have to edit the hardware config file to change it to from um, ID3 layout ID3 to layout ID12 and reinstall at the same time I will have to edit the DSDT and Clover config to accept ID12 so the important thing is that we need to change in the hardware config uh, driver plugin, we need to change the to layout ID 12. So make sure that we get the correct patch one and edit the file. Or you can just go and get the uh, config, um, you can download the config driver from my website for this one. But I'm not sure it's going to work for you. But this is what my uh, layout 12 uh, config driver is. So this is just show you how I copy and paste and make sure is a it is the uh, the first one the zero the item zero has to be that okay the important thing is the uh, SSDT and the clover config need to go to the clover so we go to clover and 
you go into the config. Okay. And when you go to the config, you go to the device audio, you inject string 12. See that? On the DSDT, you open DSDT, and if you go to patch, audio layout 12. Okay, so if you look right here, it's audio layout 12. So you use this one and you patch this. I already patched it, so I don't need to. So if you look, after you're done with it, you should be able to, to search for HDA and you can see it right here layout ID so in 12 is actually in hex is C so you you already so I already pack uh, patched this one with the um, rehab man so now you see zero C here. Okay. okay, for the HDMI to work, you need depends on your graphic card. So this is the HD four thousand. So you have to go and these are text to patch. So you need to put the Apple Intel frame buffer capri. Uh, you need to add these things in here, these port, to see if it works. So, Rehab Man uh, listed a whole bunch of them, so you have to try them all and see which one works. So, on my um, HD 4000, these are the ones that works. So, I leave it in here. So, this is disabled. I, mean, I don't use this one. So, I only use this. And this so port 205 and port uh, 304 text helper all right and where's the patch one so I'll put the patch one inside the patches DA so this is the one right so I'm gonna put it in here So I'll make it easy install. Okay. All right. So when you're done install, before we reboot, we should re repair permission. And I use Kex Utility. So after we're done with this, and then uh, we can repeat. Okay, so let's check out the uh, HDMI with the uh, patch IDT111D76D0. TV
Okay, so if everything's working, you should be able to hear the sound. So you play a video. Okay, so today I'm gonna make um, a video on how to patch Apple HDA. Okay, you can hear that now. So that's good. So everything should work. So when you unplug this, HDMI, it should go back to the sound on your laptop, so it's auto-detect, it's very nice, okay?